This is the Object 261. This is a Russian Tier 10 SPG, and the map is Airfield. I'm going to get four kills in this game, and uh, in terms of the missions, I'm going to finish Union 8. I'm going to get the critical hits, and I think I'm, I'm going to get the, the, the destroy three enemy vehicles with honors. In terms of this, I'm not going to get the stun three enemy vehicles with a single shot twice because, you know, the enemy is too smart for me. You're never going to three, see three enemy tanks close enough together, but I will get the stun damage. You see, I got my first shot on that WZ-11. It was just pure luck. After you fire, you want to move. So this is the best position for SPG on this map because you can hit the tanks that are directly in front of you, you can hit the tanks all over the backfield. You can hit this clump of heavy tanks and you can hit the snipers over here. You can hit almost everybody that's in a firing position from here. You can't do that from other SPG positions. So I'm going to knock the trees down. You want to get them down as quickly as possible before the enemy uh, SPG figures out where you are. I don't know how many rounds I have, but we have 14 minutes in the game. And if you've got like around 30 rounds, just keep the gun firing to maximize your DPM. You can see I stunned too. But these guys are Anakam, so they're not going to be in a vulnerable position all clumped together or anything like that. They're going to have smart positioning. It's not like you're going to see 100 dead tanks all over here, I mean, at the end of the game. So here's a chance to hit three, but these guys are a little bit too smart for me. So I'm not going to be able to stun three with one shot. I believe I only stun two with that shot. And you notice that after every shot, I am advancing a certain amount of meters uh, so that the enemy SPG cannot uh, predict where I am. You see we've got enemy uh, Anakums with superior positioning. They all play in pairs, which is another Anakum tactic. Uh, for example, you get in front of your ally to protect him, protect his gun mantlet. I haven't gotten any kills yet. I am going to make a critical error at the end of the game. I know what the error is. It was, uh, I could have done it right, but, um, I don't know why I made the wrong decision because, you know, my first choice was actually the correct decision. Okay, so you see we've got some Anakums over here. We want to stop them from advancing against my team. I don't think I'm going to get three with one shot. I did complete the mission, hitting three with one shot and doing it twice. I did complete that mission in another game, but it's not going to be in this game. Wow. Look at all those games. All the Anakums decided uh, very wisely to come to the same location in order to finish out the rest of the battle. You'd think I would have been able to hit these guys, but, you know, they're a little bit too smart for me. They knew enough to die or to move away right before I fire, so I wasn't able, again, uh, to stun three with one shot. I'm about to scream, ah! I had a game yesterday where somebody stunned five with one shot, and I forgot to record the replay. Ha! Well, it's too bad we lost that one. I decided to go for the Leopard because I wanted to show him that I'm the boss. I didn't have to do it, but, you know, the my allies were not happy with the fact that the Leopard was there. I believe that that Leopard is on really low hit points right now. I was surprised I didn't take him out of the game. As you can see, the enemy Anakums are making their final strategic positioning. You see how they position? See, you don't position like this because you're not as good as uh, these guys. Scores 4 to 7. I got my first kill. I got 1,600 damage, uh, 320 downward arrows. I don't know if those are dislikes or is that what it is? Maybe I'll get lucky and get it. Oh, look at that. Come on. Let's see if I can get snake eyes. Nah. Uh, I got 340 damage. I guess it wasn't enough. I'm up to 1,900 damage, still only one kill. I wasn't happy with the situation that I couldn't get a clear shot on the T-57 Heavy. Uh, I did have, I probably, if I, if I had reverse, I would have been able to, but unfortunately I wasn't. This might be a blind shot. 
see, I was able to take out uh, Ag Mike uh, because he's driving a WZ111 5ABB. He probably had to work really hard to get that tank. It's not like you get it for free. I think I'm going to miss his shot. It looks like an easy shot, but I think I'm going to miss it. What's going to happen? Ah, uh, I think that's that's definitely a kill. Yeah, I got him. Okay, so I got him. He tried to hide from me, but I was able to take him out and, of course, save my ally. I'm up to three kills. You can guess how many more kills I'm going to get in this game. Uh, it didn't... Short on stun, I didn't do that. I need one more critical hit. I'm doing two arty missions at a time. One completion with honors for the 260, and I'm doing the Chimera uh, missions. Oh, you sneaky little leopard. Goodbye. He's out of the game. 9 to 12. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. I really didn't put enough in. I only got 2,200 damage. I only got four kills. The last one was on a mad Russian. Um, so I wasn't able to do enough for my team. I'm not that great of an SPG player. We're getting to the point where, you know, I it's tough to do the close combat shots. I was able to hit that E50. I got that critical damage, which means I did complete... One of the missions, I, I'm not going to get the stun three with a single shot twice, not even in the after game stats. So here's where I made the mistake. I knew that I could either go for the E50M or the EBR. I knew the EBR would come around. I knew the E50M, there was a chance I could get him. I thought, well, go for the camo position. I'm not going to be reloaded. It ends up that the EBR probably would have killed me because I wasn't going to be reloaded when he came around. But then I said, you know what? This is really dumb. For some reason, my first inkling was go for the EBR. Ended up being a huge mistake. And you know what? It was the E50 who killed me. So there was a chance I could have taken out that EBR. Even though I wasn't reloaded, I know. I don't know. Let's let's look at that again. Let's focus on this EBR. Let's see if I could have taken him out. It would have it would have been a, a five kill. And as you know, if you get five kills, it's the same as getting a victory. Let's see what happens. I think I could have gotten him. I could have gotten him. And you know what? I could have gotten that E50. Maybe I could have gotten the E50M also. Uh, you know what? They have an enemy SPG. And in order to... I don't know. I mean, maybe the SPG would have taken me out. Maybe I... You know, okay, this is what would have happened. I would have used this rock or that rock, killed the EBR, reloaded, killed the E50M. I would have blind fired the T92. I would have probably scouted out the T-57 while he was reloading. He probably would not have been reloading yet. And I would have killed him off. I would have outrun the WZ. Um, the grill, I probably have uh, a better gun than he does, so he would have been an easy kill. And the WZ, I think it would have been close call. But if luck were on my side, I probably would have taken him out also. And, you know, this could have been a 10 or 11 kill game. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, please post below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel.